we got to understand that we do some physical cleaning, but we got to do some spiritual cleaning as well. Amen. You got to clear clutter externally and internally. Right. When you got a lot of junk around, you can't even think right. That's right. You can't even be in peace because you got so much junk around. Amen. What did we say last Sunday? You got to identify the junk. And today, not only you got to identify the junk last Sunday, okay, I got some junk. Now you got to decide to do something with the junk. That's all right. Yeah. You got to make a decision. Nothing is going to happen or change until you decide to do something about it. Right. Oh, that's why I want to hover right now. Some of y'all are, are, are have some bad relationships. You got some bad finances. You got some bad health. You got bad diets. A lot of stuff in your life is bad is junk. And you got to now decide to do something with it. Right. Not only must you identify, but you got to now decide to do something about it. Right. Just because Nathan came to David yeah. and identified his junk, right. David had to decide to talk to God about right. it. Yeah. A lot of us right now in the valleys of decision, some changes got to be made. Y'all write that down. This is a thought for you right here. Right. This is a thought for the week for you right here. Write this down. Everybody ought to have a notebook and a pen and a highlighter in your body. Uh -huh. And that's part of the breaking the poverty mindset I'm going to talk about in two weeks at Comfort Suites at 7 o'clock p.m. Westgate Parkway. Hello, somebody. The reason some of y'all ain't got it no better because you ain't thinking no better. Hey, hello, silly fan. You got to quit. Zig Ziglar said you got to quit your stinking thinking. Right. Some of y'all got some bad in mind. Because yeah. you have not made a decision to do anything. Right. Now y'all write this down. You write this down. If nothing changes, mm -hmm. the only thing that would change is nothing. All right. Some of y'all still got the same stuff in your closet right. you had 20 years ago. Right. And you still telling yourself, I'm going to get in it next week. Right. But guess what? That's 10 sizes ago. Hello, hello, elder. <laughs> hello, somebody. Hello. You still got some stuff you dealing with. It has not moved because you haven't made up your mind. Oh, do y'all know how powerful the mind is? Yes, sir. You got to make a decision. I know that's simple. It's simple. It's not rocket science. You got to have a made up mind. Yeah. It's not going to get any better until you decide some things got to change. That's right, buddy. Hello? Oh, once you make a decision to do something, there's some things going to start happening. Yeah. You got to write this one down. I'm going to give you one more. I ain't going to charge you for this one. All right, now. You and point to yourself. You gotta get sick and tired of being sick and tired. All right. This is a new month. It is 13 days old. We're an hour ahead. We lost an hour last night. Fall back, spring full. You got to make some decisions in your life. The first decision you got to make is I got to make God a priority in my life. Because can't nobody, I know this is an old folk and this is traditional, but can't nobody do me like Jesus.